important that you know the rules as an influencer. Let's look into these guidelines put out by the Competition Bureau. This is the preamble to this influencer guideline piece. So truth in advertising is important. As an influencer, consumers rely on the opinions you share online about products and services and believe they are genuine and impartial. It's misleading if you don't make it clear that your online content is actually an advertisement. The deceptive marketing practices provisions of the Competition Act apply to anyone who is promoting a product, service, or any business interest. So, as an influencer, the act applies to you. You should disclose all material connections you have with the business, product, or service you are promoting. Your connections may be material if they have the potential to affect how consumers evaluate your independence from a brand. So, basically, if you're just doing a, you bought something, you love it, and you're ranting and raving about how great it is, that there is no material connection there. You're not being swayed. You're not being given incentive to say things that aren't truthful and your true opinions. Whereas if the brand sends you something and says, we want you to have this, we would love it if you would say some good things about it. You know, they might, that might be a gray area. If they give you $5,000 and tell you that they want you to say how great it is, then that's you're not impartial at all you are being swayed by the money they're giving you to advertise for them and if you don't it disclose that you're being given that money that can be considered deceitful they describe how you can be deemed to have a material connection to a brand if you have received payment in money or commissions off of sales if you received free products or services if you've received discounts for products if you've received free trips or tickets to events, so influencer trips there. And finally, if you have a personal or family relationship with the brand. So what do you do if this is your situation? How do you protect yourself? Stick around for part two, and we'll go into some best practices to follow to make sure that you are disclosing any connections you have with a product or service or company.